London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control this city. The ideal targets are the Tone Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that would target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Well, well. Ha <laughs> ha. Look who's out and about. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers! I suppose we can't expect Albion to go quietly. Sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. They'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. Well, I, for one, am ready for a spa day. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Just shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him. Mate, Nigel's got a private bunker under this place where he likes to tweak his toys. I'll bet he's barricaded himself down here. Won't be anyone but the true believers around the compound. Then we'll have to take him down now. Luckily, his reinforcements are limited to whoever's faffing about nearby. Among us, be on your guard. Allow no one to pass unchecked. We cannot let anyone stop us from protecting. Oh, Robert. believe me, it won't be in your lifetime.
Malvin. Your true enemy has finally shown its face. Drones are on their way to the suspect. But what more can we expect? Yes. Send me reinforcements. Come destroy the one man able to resist their tyranny. Who do you think Project Venice would have targeted first? They're saving their own skins, nothing more. I found the answer to our problem, and I will not stop until it's brought to fruition. Are you sure that's what you want to come Let's up against? You want to test my resolve? Drone, well then, perform a search. Come try. Let's have a look at it. There's something's not right here. Keep up while you still can. I'm here now. Listen. What an asshole. Ah! Get this off me! takes care of security, you can now access the elevator to the bunker.
disturbance. Lethal force against humans is permitted. There's nothing here. Drone, initiate search protocol. So you've come to end it, have you, DeadSec? But haven't you figured it out yet? What our mutual acquaintance Zero Day set in motion? My inevitable reign, and your downfall. This is how it will always end. The natural order of people like me, and people like you. I am the law. Come down. Let me show you. against that drone Cass is wearing. Complete the network bypass to power up the EMP stations. Cass has called in reinforcements. What a surprise. You've run over my plans, they say, but only temporarily. I'll rid the city of you once and for all. is incoming. Check your tail. What you see is the future. The evolution of security. You will not stand in my way. Another 
Chopper EMP station. Heads up. He's called in reinforcements. Your fight is futile. They won't even thank you. All your efforts, all your sacrifice. to do some damage. Don't waste time. Let's get this over with. Time to end this. I'm impressed. Think your little resistance is ready to be London's protectors? More ready than you ever were. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. <laughs> I think we'll let the people decide what's good for them. There it is. Dead sex fatal flaw. Your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't you, straight off the streets. Well, I used to have faith in people, too. I got a good man killed once. strikes Nigel Cass off the list. Shame. I think he would have made a smashing zero day. We have plenty of work still to do. Cass may be gone, but Albion won't disappear that easily. Expect the powers that be to find fresh excuses to keep them on the streets. That said, I think we've earned ourselves a bit of a rest from zero day as well. Oi, you put down a mad dog dead sick, needed to be done. This calls for a celebration, innit? And now that I'm not being hunted by a psychopath, I think I'd like to see that safe house of yours. Link me there.
to what do we owe the visit, Hamish? You're not thinking of joining, are you? Nah, mate. Gotta maintain my free agent status. Not enough booby traps in this place. Still, I'm glad we linked up. Don't know who else would have had the bollocks to take on Cass. Losing their psycho cult leader is gonna hurt Albion, no doubt. But trust me, fam. They won't pack it in so easily. Hope their sex got some fight left in it. Inspector Caitlin Lau, socializing with outlaws. Now this is a first. <laughs> I'm only human, and we've got a lot to celebrate. Cass finally got what was coming to him, and with Mary gone, the Kellys are on the back foot for once. Deadsec is making it hard to be a bad guy in London. Until the Met gets its bollocks back, I'm still on Team Deadsec. Nout. Taking a break from the Dark Web contract game, I see. A well-deserved one. Since we teamed up, the corporate class are thinking twice about fucking with London. See what happened to Castle Avon pissing in their trousers. The tide is turning, mate. Keep fighting, and I'll fight along with you. Laters. You're the no, you. <laughs> Enough with the tedious song and dance, Malik. Whatever you have to say, just say it. And spoil my one source of entertainment? I'll give you a hint. Spooky voice, catchy name, bit of a drama queen. Or did you just forget that you haven't actually found Zero Day? You looked at Albion, Sirs, the Kellys, even Sky, Bloody Larson. Have you ever considered that instead of looking outside, you should be looking in? We have a problem. Come talk to me. Good day. Sorry to spoil the party, but we have an uninvited guest in the Deadset Network. They're downloading all the tech we've acquired to a remote device labeled Drill Britannia. What the hell? Dead set. The name is Zero Day. We've met before, in a past life. This city needed a villain, and you were perfect for the part. Now I have you playing a different role. While you've been running around trying to save this city, you've actually been arming us for a war. But then, it isn't always for us to know the role we play. And sometimes, once we've played it, our role is to die. It's Zero Day. They took everything. Here's where I would remind you that I've been trying to warn you about the Zero Day threat, if I was an unfeeling machine. Shut up and trace that signal, now! I can't pinpoint the origin of the commands, but the admin accessed the drive through an IP range dedicated to autonomous vehicles. I have a general geolocation for it, and I suggest you make a visit now. I've sent you the general location of the Zero Day Hacker's signal. As I said, I don't have their specific coordinates, so you'll have to search the area. Good luck and Godspeed. Thank you, sweetie.
Mousers blocks every website on encrypted comms. They're silencing us. You've been activated. Is that a prospective recruit I see there? Undecided. What are we up to today? You're close to the origin point of the signal that hacked our network. The origin of the hacker's signal is really close now. It'll be coming from a van. Perfect. I'm beyond ready to confront whoever it is at the wheel. The van is driverless, but it does seem to be protected by armed drones. So, you plan, keep close enough to it while I trace the controlling signal. Fucking shite to my day here, I'm blaming you, Bagley! I'll be sure to pass that on with your remains. Auto drive now and then. Trace complete. The signal controlling the van originated in the Stockwell War Bunker. Good chance that's where Zero Day has been operating this whole time. If so, they certainly have a flair for the dramatic. And I'm fucking tired of it. Show me where they are. The elevator that descends into the Zero Day Bunker is guarded by a strange security system. Some sort of copycat game. You'll need to solve it to gain access to the lower level. This kind of security obviously didn't exist in World War II. I wonder who upgraded it. the most inviting clubhouse is it judging from the security above i'd expect some unorthodox defense measures
feel like I'm walking through a diseased mind. The flair for the dramatic, grand. Check it out. All right, I think it's safe to say we found Zero Day's base of operations. Bagley, what can you tell me about this place? It's, uh, huh, not authorized. How can it be not authorized? Pardon? Not authorized by who? By, hmm, apparently I can't say. Can I say this is really fucking annoying? Oh, well, there's that at least. Oh, shit. Bagley's gone bye bye. Uh, you got to search the bunker, Cos? Yes, I may be able to analyze individual data points. Suggest you make this a quick investigation, though. I'm picking up Albion activity in the area. Possible they are searching for Zero Day as well. The effort that goes into a deceit is proportional to how fucked up the result is. I don't like this. Zero Day appears to be running the chip tracking tech we acquired from Mary Kelly. Now, what do you suppose they're doing with it? Zero Day has reverse engineered Themis drones. Could they have their own private fleet? Zero Day has a backdoor into filament that deep surveillance supercomputer Malik was so concerned about. This is the Bagley source code, a copy of my brain from Brokertech, code we acquired in Sky Larson's lab. Jesus Christ. Clearly, DedSec has been unwittingly nicking toys for Zero Day. I'm detecting some devices over in the crash pad that could fill in some details. That looks like a stinger, eh? Oh, e ease up, please. Let him breathe. Our very own Guy Fawkes. The wrong master. Fuck you. We didn't set that bomb. We defused it. Even if I was inclined to believe a dead second insurgent, do you think it really matters at all? Since when does Albion get to play judge, jury, and executioner? You have no jurisdiction in London. <sighs> oh, I do now. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. Provide medical aid. Help the injured. And guns out. Let's make it look good for the fucking cameras. Understand? Well, well. If I were a betting AI, I'd say Nigel Cass had advanced knowledge of the London bombings and the location of that dead sex safe house. Almost like someone tipped him off. But I suppose you'll put this together in your own time. Time for a hard reset. Oh my god. Breakups are hard. 
Is London burning? No parts of it. Then I've held up my end. Release the filament code. Uh, one of your dead sex squad, he stopped the Parliament bomb. I was rather counting on that one, to be honest. This is still the largest terror attack in London's history. If you can't work with that... <laughs> oh, I'll work with it. But the deal is off. Do you know who you're fucking with, Mr. Cass? I know you set off bombs across the city and fucked your friends. I don't know what mischief you'll get up to with a big girl toy like Filament. Cleaner this way, though. She's running! Get her! She killed Dalton, set up the attacks, and she's tampered with Bagley. Explains why she wiped my memory. There's a lot to unpack here, but more pressingly, I've pinpointed where Draw Britannia is running. That console right over there. I found Drill Britannia. It looks to be a CTOS patch. I don't know if I can stop it. No one can stop it. That's the whole point. So... Impressed? Depends. What does Drill Britannia do? <laughs> it's society's big wipe. While DeadSec runs around fixing bugs, I'm deleting the source code. Frying the hardware too. All of it. It's actually a beautiful thing you've done by helping to steal all that tech. So beautiful you had to build a doomsday bomb shelter just to hide away from it. When's the rest of Zero Day show up? Huh? Oh, it's just me. I learned very early on that no one was willing to make real sacrifice for change. In the end, history's actors work alone. Jesus, you really are just another zealot. Ouch. I had hoped you might at least understand why I did it. Why we recruits? I am sorry, but once again, DeadSec has outlived its usefulness. Spread out! Millions will suffer today. It's an honor to die among them. Search the area! Sabine's locked me in here with the Albion goons. I need time to crank the security system and open the blast doors. Try to survive until the process is complete. Easier said than done. swift and safe escape. You'll need to find another exit. Albion has dispatched personnel to intercept operatives across the city. Oh, excellent. I'm under attack again.
Fuck me. That was intense. But I escaped. Yes, brilliant work. What's going on? I've been swarmed by Albion at every turn. They're on you. They just chased me out of my hands as well. Hey, big man thing we need to meet. Sabine has leaked your locations to Albion. All operatives are currently compromised. I suggest you all lay low and avoid any large groups. I'll send you a low-key meeting spot. Should I get used to this? Being chased by an angry group of arseholes? Until you lose them, yes. They're back the soil, for don't you think? I'm not sure, but I secured an alternate location for an emergency meeting far from the safe house. Pushing the coordinates now. I'm ready to go when you are. Right. Good. Am I early or is everyone else just lost? Securing a single safe location was impossible, so I sent you all to different ones. Safe? I'm stranded on a fucking drone barge. Pretty sure this is a crack house, so you're luckier than me. If you're all quite finished complaining about the precise manner in which I saved your ingrate asses, let's get on with the briefing. London. This is Zero Day. Nice to finally meet. Those little bombings a few months back were my way of saying hello. Now we'll really get, get to know each other. All that technology you've come to love so well. Texting your nan, driving your car, pumping your heart. It's all about to turn against you. Tonight, your modern world will become a living hell. I don't expect you to understand this, but what I'm doing is good. Destruction is always the cure. Attention everyone, this is big. I've uncovered what the Draw Britannia patch is for. It's for me. Zero Day, aka Sabine, is using a Bagley OS update that will allow me and all other Bagleys to simultaneously access any vulnerable systems connected to CTOS. My OS is integrated into core infrastructure across Britain, power plants, airports, hospitals, banks and the like. Once I access these systems, the patch will make me compromise them to the point of failure. The cumulative effect means the complete collapse of London, and likely the country, which I suspect is her goal. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but the update is already spreading. Sabine thought of everything. Is there a way to, I don't know, kill every Bagley? Your callous nonchalance about my death may actually be the answer. We need to get into Brockatech. Exactly. You have to destroy the servers that host me and take down the Bloom network at the same time, so I can't access my backups. One of you get to Broker, and one of you get to Bloom Tower. I'll explain on the way.
Central Britannia has been triggered. There are now millions of Mies destroying London infrastructure. You'd better get on with this murder. I won't kill Bagley, I won't. Not after all he's done for us. This is no time to get sentimental. It's a sacrifice we have to make. There are countless lives on the line here. Fine. I can put my feelings aside. So, we need to shut down Bagley at Bloom Tower. How do we do this? Coordination. We need to get to the tower and take Bagley offline. But that won't stop the attack on its own. His broker tech servers will begin a reboot immediately. Taking him offline provides a short window for another operative to take down his servers permanently. Teamwork, fam. Do your shit, pass the baton. I respect your decision, but this is fucking bollocks. Drop a pin. Jesus, I'm gonna miss saying that. Better hurry. I've already scrambled medical supply chains. Hospitals will be non-functional. Habla inglés para el equipo, por favor. Sorry, language settings fuck up. I said caution, security is unusually high at Bloom Tower. Call the lift and I'll check in again when I'm up. One of you should be in at Brock Attack to disable the servers. Timing's key. Here we are. 
Standing at death's door. It's my death, so I don't know what you're getting all poetical about. Brockatech. Our old friend Sky Larson lives on through her grotesque corporation. If my research checks out, Bagley runs extremely hot. It requires a massive cooling system. Damage the coolant tanks, and it should trigger emergency access to the servers. Activate the pressure to cause a release of coolant. Triggered emergency access to my server chamber. I can't wait to see my brain. The ball is yours. Take Bagley offline. I'll head down to the brain server. The transmitter at the top of the tower receives data packets for my updates. If you want to trace the packet signal back to my main servers, just climb the tower to reach the transmitter at the top. Simply climb, huh? I've always appreciated your straightforward approach to problems, Bagley. I'll miss that. But not that much. to the transmitter up top is locked off. I have a solution. Using a drone to force the fins to change positions will place them in an error state. That will allow you to request that the access door be unlocked for routine maintenance. Not a bad idea, Bagley. Time to fiddle with the signal controlling the fins to unlock access to the top of the tower.
Brilliant. You've manipulated the first set of fins. Keep going. Wow, those fins do look off. You have a knack for messing things up, don't you? Keep doing it. You've issued a scan of the fins. You'll need to wait while the system flags them and triggers a maintenance request. A load of drones are about to pull up on your position. Watch your ass. Yes, try not to die. The scan must complete to unlock access to the top of the tower. That's done it. The tower fins have registered as damaged and the maintenance ladder has unlocked. Fuck yeah. The transmitter is just above. Reach it and take me offline before I dis... Suspending transmission. Activate the next terminal to take me offline. can you? Or are you just incredibly stupid? Do you want me to access the transmitter while you socialize? Yes. Yes! You're incredibly stupid! Wonderful! Why, oh, see, DeadSec hasn't changed its brand. You'll need to stall for time and remain near the transmitter unit. 
I admit, your Bagley update is quite clever. I just can't say I understand how it fixes the world. Fix? What do you think we can fix this? What, with crypto-anarchism? Protesting, doxing? Optics are glorified cattle tags. Albion shoots civilians in broad daylight. Snitching is now a means of survival. No. You skids can't fix anything. You're wrong. Someone needs to hold evil accountable, and we're London's fucking watchdogs. We make room for good. And you're the arbiter of goodness. <sighs> Let me ask, how many have you killed since DedSec restarted? See? A tiny tweak in your philosophy and we're on the same page. The tower's fins must be collapsed to complete the trace. I cannot initiate this hack, but you can. Are you saying what I think you're saying? That we should get the band back together again. Oh, sweet, but no. I'm saying I was in denial too. Shackled by their technology, their morality. But my hard reset wipes the slate clean. So we can all start again. I'm sad you won't be around to see it. I wasn't exactly shackled by morality there, was I? This place reminds me of a catacomb. These data containers are alive with cognitive activity your fleshy human mind can neither comprehend nor ever hope to equal. Bagley, there are too many containers here. How can I find yours? If you disable the data center's cooling system, it will trigger an emergency shutdown to prevent overheating. This failsafe ejects four of my data containers containing key systems. They will be visible, allowing you to manually destroy them and stop the update. What do we do now? Destroy the temperature regulators to trigger the automated shutdown procedure. Check. I apologize in advance, but I'm about to start attacking. What the fuck? I'm afraid I have no choice but to defend my core servers. It's a hard-coded security protocol. Nothing personal. Good luck. Shit.
Now you've done it. Security forces are converging on your position now. Oh, do you want to bet on whether you or me will die first? I feel sweat on my neck. Good. Not from the Another cooling system is still operational. There's been a steep rise in t -t temperature. Shall I call emergency services? No. Are you going crazy? Yes, it is getting harder to think. I'm almost down to your level. The overheat protocols have activated. My data containers are above you. Use the drone to get up there. Check. after I'm gone. We'll manage without you. Don't worry. Thank you. And I, I'm sorry I said I shagged your mums earlier. I, I just thought insulting you would make this easier. never going to get a compass now. I had such plans for Gunter. Give this list to us. We'll do what we can. Oh, don't be stupid. You wouldn't know where to begin. Turning into a cyborg hive mind. Hey, what's this? What about the thing you said about useless nostalgia? Correct. It seems, however, that I am not immune. <sighs> Deactivating this container will be the same as the others. No, this one is different. Yes, you simply read to No, I, I, I'm having trouble doing this. It's what needs to be done. If you're worried about me, Rest assured, I was reprogrammed to serve DedSec, and that this. serves you, and London. So please, allow me to fulfill my purpose and help you. Logic error. All of me is entering shutdown. I'm so sorry, mate. I won't forget you, Bagley. Error 21. 
255. Language processor. May I stop this operation? You said this is what must be done. Remember? I have new thoughts. Where do AIs go when they die? Will I upload to a cloud? Perhaps I will see you again as a component in your motorized wheelchair when you are old and grown. Just relax, my friend. Everything will be okay. Think. Thought. Idea. Memory. Bradley. Love. Strawberries. Rowing. Arthur. The one that got away. What does this mean? The one that got away? It means... You lose someone close to you. I'm on. Getting... Away? Goodbye, Bagley. Bloom is now confirming that the deadly infrastructure attack plaguing London has finally been purged from all CTOS systems. The identities of the Zero Day hacker group behind the attack are still unknown, but sources confirm that DedSec stopped the virus. In the wake of last week's Bagley attack, thousands of Londoners are, quote, jailbreaking their optic devices, thereby disabling the mandated CSA app. SIRS has issued a stark warning. The Metropolitan Police is moving to regain a foothold in London, led by a passionate new Deputy Commissioner, Caitlin Lau. Lau says she won't rest until the Met's dignity is restored. ...of a Kentish Town Council estate have declared their public housing project a no-Kelly zone. Organisers claim they are forced to take safety into their own hands because of Albion's total lack of... An ex-Albion engineer, Hamish Bolaji, has blown the whistle on yet another Albion scandal, this time involving a backroom crowd control robot program. Citizens continue to leak evidence of abuse of power by Albion and corruption within SIRS via the DedSec app. Thousands of pictures, audio and video recordings seem to implicate the dark web entity known only as the 404 are stepping into the daylight, releasing evidence today of a bombshell money laundering operation based out of the British Virgin Islands. Corporate watchdogs praise the group for checking the power of a once untouchable corporate elite. In another clash with Albion units in support of the so-called DedSec resistance. The group itself has been conspicuously quiet since the Bagley attack, leaving many to ask, has DedSec disappeared once again? This thing's seen better days. We should cannibalize it for parts. Chop it up. Don't chop me up. Bagley? Is that really you? I'm Bagley, your personal assistant. I make life easier in many ways. If it's fun you're after, there's a wine and cheese expo in Notting Hill tonight. There are several artisan ice cream parlors in the area and... Oh my God, is that really what I sound like? Today's forecast calls for 34 Albion assaults, 59 deportation raids, 857 terabytes of personal data stolen, and one resistance group of sulking, whinging, frankly pathetic operatives. May I suggest you quit feeling sorry for yourselves and get back to unfucking London? Fuck me! Bagley's back! Hello. When you have a moment, could you pop over to my terminal? This is sort of awkward, but I don't feel well. Okay.
What do you want, Bagley? Right. I have some disturbing news. You see, I've been thinking. Okay. And? Well, I don't bloody think, do I? I'm a super intelligent AI with a constant connection to all human knowledge. I don't have thoughts. I have load times. But after everything I've been through, dying, seeing all those people whose brains Sky Larson scooped out and turned into AI, being reborn, it got me pondering the nature of my own existence like some kind of renaissance aristocrat who's grown tired of buggering the servants. I don't think I've always been software. Okay, wait. You think you were a person? Like I said, disturbing. Since we visited that lab, I found a series of images buried in my operating system. I think they might be memories of some kind, but the images are corrupted so I can't say. I think this must be what it's like not to know things, and I think I hate it. That's amazing, Bugley. Hey, give us these images. Maybe we can help you remember who you were. Well, if it'll set your mind at rest, I sent you the images. If you get me a clear visual of each location, I can composite it with the image from my OS and remember more of my past life. Watch it, Bagley. Don't call me that! That's not my name! Enough! Both of you. <sighs> what a way to spoil a perfect evening. The concerto really was lovely, dear. Can't believe we missed the cricket match for this! Sport will come and go, son. But knowledge, creativity, intellect, those things will stay with you forever. Yeah, Bagley. Brown noser! Ow! An athletic competition? Evolutionarily, that's one level above two apes seeing you can stick the larger rock up their bum, and it was my favorite thing to do. Ready for the match tomorrow, Dad? Come on, it's my birthday! At least pretend to be excited, Dad! Yeah, listen, mate. I, I can't take you to the cricket. I'm sorry. What? Why? Go ahead. Do you have authorization? Tell him. I... well, I... Your father has decided he wants to leave. For someone he really loves. That's enough. We agreed to have one last day out, and now you're making a scene. I didn't make this scene, Kevin. You did. It's strange listening to these voices. I'm feeling a connection to humans. Not to my father, though. He seemed like a tosser. yourself again. Good idea. To the newest member of the UC London rowing team. Your plot for Olympic domination has only just begun. Remember this moment, you two. You'll be telling your children about the night you got pissed with a future gold medalist. Whatever you say, Bagley. Mate, don't call me that. That's not my name. Rowing, I see. Well, that's not too bad as sports go. It's almost a science. Lots of physics involved. Oh, shit. 
shit. Get the nurse, he's having a seizure. Seizure? Uncontrolled electrical activity in the brain. Could be epilepsy. Good thing I wasn't actually on the Thames. Seems like I've really enjoyed that meal. Is that really what you hear every time you eat something? Dear God. She's doing it, but I haven't had a seizure in almost a year. I'm free. I'm so happy for you, Banks. And not even that stupid nickname can ruin my mood, so go on, wear it out. So, are we really gonna make a go of this? I'm ready for the rest of my life, Arthur. And I want you to be a part of it. Arthur, I should remember more about him, but I don't. She is Sky Larson. Seems like the usual suspect where brain fuckery is concerned. Stop on me! Get fucked! You look like the dog shit, As far as we can tell, your brother's dealing with early onset dementia. The condition is in line with the kind of violent outburst he had at the British Library. Now we can keep him and monitor his progress. Thank you, Doctor. May I have a moment? Of course. You listen to me. I don't care what it takes. No brother of mine is going to waste away in some hospital. Early onset dementia. But if that's the case, when was I in your all mapped? Why do I have a feeling we're not up here to reminisce? Uh, right. I've been thinking a lot about your epilepsy. That's nice. My doctor stopped thinking about it years ago. I've had to give up so much because of it. Rowing. My mates. My, uh... uh. I'm sorry, Bradley. Wow. Look at you using my real name for once. I must be truly fucked. 
What if I told you I had something that could work? Huh. Never knew you were funny. I'm not. It's a tech we're developing. It's early stages, but... Have you ever heard of neural mapping? No. Here, let's go to my lab. I'll show you. Lead the way, Sky. I was Sky Larson's brother. I'm Bradley. Bradley Larson. Bradley Larson. I found a room prepaid through to April 4th, 2040, under the name of Bradley Larson, paid for by S. Larson. You're still living, Bradley. Where is the room? St. Pancras Hotel. Hey, hello. Uh, I want to talk to Bradley Larson, please. Oh, are you a friend of his? Yeah, sure. We know each other a long time. Our odd friend. I see. Well, it's nice of you to visit, but I wouldn't expect much conversation. Mr. Larson hasn't been able to say a word for well over a year now. His dementia reached stage seven long ago. But go on in. I'll give you some privacy. Fire in New Zealand yesterday. The men's aid set a record time, easily defeating the Germans and the Dutch, who placed a distant second and third. The women's aid fought it out in a real tussle down. I'm very sorry, Bagley. I know this is not what you wanted. I have to talk to him. Cast me to the telly. Listen, you don't know me, but I know you. I've done a lot of searching, and I do think I know you. You were a rower. You loved and were loved. You liked strawberries. You had a sister you trusted, and she hurt you. And I'm sorry. You deserve better. But nothing Sky did to you changes who you are. You lived a life that I never could. You're a good person, and I am someone else. This has been an illuminating conversation. Thank you, Bradley. I'm glad I finally met you. So long, Bradley. Okay. Do I call you Bradley now? No, no, I'm Bagley. I'm sure of it now. Bradley and I just share a common ancestor. Anyway, I appreciate this. And if you ever tell anyone else I said that, I will coldly and methodically engineer all of your deaths. You're very welcome, Bagley. 